I, ha I have a phrase and it comes from the page that lawyers don't have anything written in a contract and it says this page left intentionally blank <laughs> and so I like I like to have spaces that might be intentionally blank and they just allow you to perceive the world in a new way. We're interested in the potential of architecture, right? What, what, it, what it can become, the exploration of it. It's this constant discovery and this constant exploration of ideas. We want projects in which clients expect architecture to do more. We work together to arrive at something that not only addresses what they need, but also helps them grow, yeah, that's nice. Where's that? helps them do things maybe that they didn't know they could do. It's a no boundaries mindset. Let's let's put our uh, let's put our talent to use and see what see what good we can do in the world. They spent so much time with us, uh, learning, understanding what the Saints experience is, and went into the process of designing CHS Field in a way that that it delivered everything that we didn't have but needed in our previous home. It shows how architecture can actually sort of quiet its voice but be incredibly impactful. Our work is powerful without being loud. The more diverse the partners are coming into a project, the more sensitive and thoughtful the design will become. It makes it a lot more simple to do that. Like they're asking questions, they're coming to us and saying, hey, can I do this? We're like, absolutely, you know, what, what do you need? A dialogue is essential to our practice in the studio and everybody is encouraged to voice their ideas and the best idea is what moves forward. All these things are just different layers. There are staff that have been here for 15 years but then there's always a kind of influx of new people coming in. I think that actually really helps to push projects forward. And so my sense of the studio is that our trajectory has to continue to rise. I think kind of figuring out where that next step is and what that means, the future, the future will tell. Favorite projects? Is it always the most recent? No, it's the next one. Uh. <laughs>